Shalom. All the praise, honor, the glory go to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, peace, safety to the hopefully black. This is Sir Akiam out there. All right, those scattered to the four corners of this wicked ass earth ruled by the devil, the profane fornicator Esau, Edom, the so called white man, y'all father, the devil. Basically, man, I'm going to some, I'm going to a, a mystery, man, all right, a mystery, okay, dealing with the afterlife, man, all right, For everybody out there that don't know Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, these people refer to as Jehovah, Yahweh, God, his name is Yahweh in the ancient Hebrew, man, okay, because that's the, the heavenly language. That's the language that's being spoken in the heavens, man. Hebrew, man. Not no goddamn English, man. Okay? Not no Greek. Okay? Hebrew. All right? And uh, Yahweh Shai means he delivered. All right? The deliverer of the elect of Israel, man. All right? The one that gonna come back and destroy uh, uh, Esau, Edom. All right? Put him in chains. Captivity. Okay, so he can receive his judgment before you wicked ass Israelites. You going into eternal damnation, man. Eternal damnation, man, which is referred to in this world as hell, man. All right, it's it's, it's eternal damnation, and I'm gonna prove that through the precepts, man. All right, through the precepts, man. The scriptures gonna reveal the truth through what's written, man. Through the Holy Spirit, man. Right, not by the way of what you heard from your elder, because you got elder to heart talking about uh, eternal damnation. It, 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 it's it's uh, not not real, man. Everybody go to paradise. Think about it, man. The devil himself, <laughs> right? The devil himself, right? Which the word to heart mean pure, and, and that name fit him, uh, fit him well, man, because he's pure evil, man. With those doctrines he's teaching, man. That's a pure evil doctrine, man. The Bible clearly tell you by eternal damnation, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. First uh, precept I'm gonna read is in uh, Second Ezra, man. Second Ezra. Let's get that. So this uh, Second Ezra chapter nine and verse. I'm gonna start at verse eleven, man. It says, "And they that loathe that loathe my law, while they had yet liberty." Right? Liberty is under that new contract. All right? That's the new contract. That's the liberty that Yahweh Shai uh, shed his blood so the elect can have, man. Okay? So, who, who loathed his law while they yet had liberty? All right? You guys rejected uh, the new covenant, so therefore you reject Yahweh Shai and you reject his sacrifice and you reject this liberty, man. All right? Because these guys are about putting. Uh, those that follow them into bondage, man. That's the opposite of liberty. That's the opposite of being free, man. Bondage. All right? So it says, at, and when as yet place of repentance, repentance, do Yahweh Shah, under the new covenant. All right? What you guys reject. Okay? You guys reject the new covenant. All right? So ain't no repentance for you guys. You know what I mean? So it says, was open until them, until them understood not, but despised, but despised, despised it, man. Okay, you despise the liberty, right? You say, uh, for if you teach that we're in the new covenant, uh, you a bug out, man. Okay. So therefore, you guys despise the liberty, man. You despise uh, uh, the new contract, man. Which ultimately leads back to you despising your house shot, man. That's who you ultimately despise, man. All right? You ultimately despise your house shot, man. So, let's read on, man. Verse 12, which is the point. It says, the same, the same, the same must know it after death. After death by pain. The same must know it after death by pain, man. All right? 
right? So that's the torment, man. That pain, man. That's the damnation. The right there, eternal damnation that the scriptures talk about, man. Okay? Despite uh, what these wicked, uh, uh, that wicked nigga to heart teaching, man. That pure evil doctrine he teaching about hell don't exist, man. Okay? So all you wicked Israelites out there got a price to pay after you die, man. eternal damnation man the same way the rich man went the same way the rich man went and the other male facts so i'm gonna read these precepts and i'm gonna get a full edification understanding man and show you man i'm gonna show you your judgment man okay all these israelites out here these so-called negroes latinos native american whoever you may be all right from among all tri uh, 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 people kindred tribe and tongue man all nation people, uh, kindred can talk, man. You going to eternal damnation. All Israel will not be saved, man. That's Christianity, man. That's Christianity. Okay. All Israel is not gonna be saved. All the elect gonna be saved. All right. All those that repent. All right. Under the new contract that follow the Lamb whatsoever he go. Those are the ones that's going to uh, 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 receive that kingdom, that reward, that eternal life. All right? But for you wicked Israelites, the synagogue of Satan and those that follow those guys, all y'all going into eternal damnation, man. All right? And I'm going to prove that through the precepts, man. So let's get another precept and prove it. Let's go to the book of Daniel, chapter 12. This is Daniel, chapter 12. The prophet Daniel. Uh, let's see. Chapter 12. And I'll start at the top. So it says. And at that time. Shall Michael stand up. The great prince was standing for the children. Of thy people. Alright. That stand up for the children of the Lord people. Which are who? The Israelites. Despite what Christianity teach. Alright. Despite what you learn in this world. Despite what you want to believe in your a uh, uh, bugged out mind, man. The Lord's people are the Israelites, man. Period, man. All right? And it says, and there shall be a time, there shall be a time of trouble, a time of trouble, which is the judgment that the Lord going to bring on the nation of Israel, all right, for all the wickedness, okay? For y'all being wicked children, rebellious children. So it says, such as never was since there was a nation. And by the way, nation means nationality, man. All right? That's what your nation is, man. Not where the fuck you was born at, man. All right? Esau twists the knowledge up, man, to bring confusion in the world, man. That's his whole agenda and objective, man. That's why the Lord say you are your father the devil, man. All right? Because you think, think y'all Americans or, or, or wherever you born at in this world, man. Right, you from the uh, 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 your nationality come from the uh, the seed of your forefathers, man. Okay, so read on even to that same time, and at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book of life, the book of life, man. All right, that's the elect, that's the chosen. All right, verse two, which is the point, and many. Of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall await some to everlasting life. All right, that's the that's those who written in the book, the righteous of Israel, man. All right, so it says some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. All right, everlasting torment, man. Hell, man. That's what it's talking about, man. All right. It's not talking about Esau and the kingdom or other jakes walking around with their head down, being in contempt in the kingdom of the Lord, man. All right? That ain't what Ezra said. Okay? So let me read verse 2 again, which is the point. All right? It says, as many of them that sleep, that's dead. Okay? That's dead, man. In the spirit world. 
shall awake, shall awake some to everlasting life. Right? That's the judgment, man. That's the final judgment. Some to everlasting life. Right? That's the reward that the righteous gonna receive for not loathing the Lord law, man. Alright? Right? So we know it, man. And some as and, and it says some to everlasting life and some to and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Torment, man. Okay, torment. Fear him. Don't don't he said fear him that can destroy soul and body, man. Right? The Lord is gonna destroy the souls of these wicked Israelites, man. Okay? In contempt, in, in hell, in torment, man. That's the destruction it's talking about, man. So let's get a precept. So let's read verse 3. And they that be wise, not all Israel, the they that be wise is referring to who? The elect, man. Okay? Because it's it's a form of having wisdom when you believe in your have a shot over man. That's you, that's wisdom, man. That's 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 the uh, example of being wise, man. Okay. So it says, and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness, though they that tell the truth according to what the doctrine in the Bible say, man. Not though who part of these uh camps, man, that get people to come join these camps, man. That's not an example of turning nobody to righteousness, man. You're not turning nobody to righteousness. You're turning them to wickedness, man. All right? Because the foundation of what these guys teach is lies, man. All right? It's lies, man. I'm exposing it right now through this video, man. Okay? So it says, And they that turn many to righteousness, meaning turn many to Yahweh Shai. All right? So they can repent and come up under the new contract. That's what it's basically referring to. As the stars, as the stars forever and ever, man. So that's the point, man. I wanted to show you, man. Those that sleep in the dust, those that's dead, spirit in the spirit world, all right? Uh, uh, gonna wait, some gonna wait to everlasting life, meaning the kingdom of heaven, and some gonna wait, wait, await to that torment, man. And I'm gonna give you an example of that in the book of Luke, uh, chapter 16. I'm gonna give you an example of what I just read, man. Okay. Now, re now, now, according to uh, 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 that pure evil doctrine that those guys teach at GMS, uh, this is referring to Esau and Jacob. Esau being the rich man, Jacob being Lazarus. All right, that goes back into that fascination that these guys have with uh, Esau, man. But I'm gonna give you the understanding of what I just read, man. All right, give you an example of that, man. Straight out of the scriptures, man. So this is Luke chapter 16. I'm going to just read uh, verse, let's see. I'm going to read 22 and 23, man. All right. So remember what I just read in, in Daniels about some waking up to eternal uh, life and, and some waking up to eternal damnation, man. Showing you both sides, man. All right. The righteous and the wicked, the the, uh, the wheat and the tares, man. Okay, so this verse 22, it says, and it, and it came to pass that the beggar died, slept in the dust, man. He's dead, man. Literally. And was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. Because remember, the scriptures tell you, your flesh go back to the earth and your spirit go up to uh, him that gave it. All right? So this is, is an example of what I just read in the book of Daniels, man. Okay? So it says, and was carried by the angels, not a UFO, but the angels, into Abraham's bosom. All right? That rest, man. Okay? That paradise that's described in the scriptures, man, by Paul. All right? That paradise that's described uh, uh, dealing with the male factor. That's Abraham's bosom, man. Okay? And the rich man also died and was buried. See? It's talking about literal death, them sleeping in the dust, just like I read in the book of Daniel, uh, verse 23, which is the main point. It says, and in hell, all right, in hell, in torment, all right, that contempt that we read about in Daniel, he lifted up his eyes. That's an example of him awaken, all right, 
That's why I says that Daniel is really that awake uh, from the dust, man. All right, meaning the same thing. He lifted up his eyes. Okay, when you sleep, your eyes close. When you awake, you open up your eyes. You lift up your eyes. All right. So he said he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, being in torment, man. All right. So that's an example of what Daniel was was referring to, man. Okay. Torments, man. And see if Abraham will fall off and Lazarus in his bosom. So it's a clear separation, man, in the heavens, man. It's a clear separation, man. And the, the proof that the rich man does not refer to no fucking Esau. I'm going to jump down and read a few more precepts. Just to, just to expose that fake ass doctrine, man. All right? So I'm going to jump down to verse 28. For I have five brethren referring to the rich man, that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment, into this place of torment, man, all right, in the spirit world, man, after death, man, this is referred to as afterlife, man, all right, because your time on this earth is only for a small moment, man, okay, after you, uh, your body die, all right, your soul go to the heavenly father who, who created and gave you that, that spirit, man, all right, and, and how you lived on this earth determines, man, is you going to go where Lazarus went, which was Abraham's bosom that rest, or you're going to go into uh, uh, torments, man. Okay, your eyes going to lift up. You're going to wake up to everlasting contempt, man, contempt, man. So it says, Abraham saith unto him, saith unto the rich, man, they have Moses. They have Moses. Now, according to you, nigga, doctrine, uh, uh, Moses represent the law. According to the Bible, but according to you, nigga, doctrine, uh, uh, Abraham was telling the rich man that he got the law. So it says, and the prophets, and the prophets, let them hear them. Let them hear them. That's the proof that this is an Israelite, because only the Israelites got was given the law, man. Only the Israelites, the prophets was of the Israelites, man. All right? Those prophecies was reserved for Israel, man. Okay? And this is the main point. Said they father Abraham, but if one went unto him from the dead, they will repent. They will repent. All right. So you you guys are bugged the fuck out. Let's show you that Esau can't fucking repent, man. So that'll be a contradictory of the scriptures. Either it's a contradictory of the scriptures, or you niggas don't know what the fuck you talking about, man. Let's get that Hebrews, man. Chapter twelve and verse sixteen. It says, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward, when he were have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, rejected, for he found no place of repentance. So ain't no repentance for Esau. So why the fuck would Abraham tell him he can repent, man? Do your how shy, man. That's a flawed doctrine, man. It's not biblical, man. You niggas bug outs, man. Read no one. Though he sought it with with uh sought it carefully with tears, man. So that's the proof, man, that they're not talking about no Esau in Luke 17, man. I mean Salakia, Luke 16. That's the proof, man. That's the evidence right there, right out of the Bible, man. Okay? So let's read on, man. So I just read to you in Luke 16 an example of what I read and uh, an example of what the prophet Daniel was referring to, man. Okay? What the prophet Daniel was referring to, man. About some waking up to everlasting life and some waking up to everlasting shame and contempt. All right? Everlasting shame and contempt, man. That's referring to the afterlife, man. The eternal damnation, man, that the wicked gonna receive, man, for loving the Lord's law. All right? For rejecting the new covenant, man. Okay? For being wicked, man. So, so that's the point on that, man. Let's let's get some more precepts, man, and paint the picture, make it clear. All right, edify those who uh deem to be uh, to who can receive this through the Holy Spirit, all right? So, this Matthew's 25, man. Let's see. Book of 
Matthews, uh, let's see, chapter 25, and uh, verse 46. We're going to bring it out, man, and get an edification, man. All right? That's what the elect job is, man. Right, we ordained by the most high man to tell the truth according to what the Bible say, man. Not to follow you niggas, all right, into our own damnation, man. All right. So let's see. The Matthews chapter 25 and uh verse 46. Let's get verse 46. So this is Matthew 25, 46. It says, and these shall go away into everlasting, everlasting punishment. That's the torment that Luke was talking about, all right, which is written in the red, all right, the words of Yahweh Shai himself, all right, what the prophet Daniel was referring to, okay? So it says, and these shall go into everlasting punishment, all right? Now, who are the deeds? Israelites, man, the wicked ones, man, right? The rich man, okay? Those who loathe the Lord law, who reject the new covenant, all the respect of persons, man, okay? All you guys that believe in false doctrines, man, the false doctrines of your wicked elders, all y'all going into eternal damnation. Eternal damnation. So let's let's read some more. It says, and these shall go, shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous, but the righteous into life eternal. Showing you both sides, man. Just like that you uh prophesied about. Alright? Just like all uh, the book of Luke say, man. Just like all uh, the prophet Ezra said, man. Right, but you got this evil nigga, man, teaching false doctrines, man. And you people, you, you people eat it up, man. Right, you people eat it up, man. The shit is sick, man. The shit is sick, man. So I'm gonna read verse 46 again, real slow for you clowns, man. It says, and these talk about wheat and tares. Righteous and wicked Israelites, that's the D's, man, all right, shall go away into everlasting punishment. That's who Yahweh Shai talking to. This is written in the red. This is who Yahweh Shai is referring to, man. He ain't talking about to no crackers, man. He's not talking to Esau, man. He talking to Israelites, man. And these guys trying to distract you with Esau, man. That's their job, to distract you with lies, man. That's the they, that's the devil job, man. That's why the Lord referred to him as the synagogue of Satan, man. Those who say they are apostles and are not, but do lie, man. That's what it says in the book of Revelations, man. So it says, and these shall go into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal life, man. Showing you both sides, bro. Okay? So that's the proof. All right? to what I'm reading out of the Bible not what's coming out of this nigga mouth this is the proof alright that after that there's an afterlife man and there's a separation of good and evil man in the heavens man so let's get some more precepts and, and, and bring out more edification man if you can receive it man you have to be able to receive it man through uh, the Holy Spirit man Okay, everybody not gonna be able to receive this, man. All right, everybody can't receive this knowledge, man. Everybody can't receive the understanding that what 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 was coming out the Bible, man. It's not made for everybody. It's only for the righteous, man. Only, man. Which is a small remnant, man. Uh, based on uh, the amount of people that's on the earth, the the righteous who's gonna be able to receive. Uh, uh, these teachings, man, this understanding, this edification, all right, this spiritual knowledge, all right, is a small remnant compared to every, the, uh, compared to the uh, majority of people on this earth, man. All right, and that, that's 
part of the understanding of the scriptures, man. Okay? You can be hated uh, for the Lord's sake, man, for this word, man. For speaking the truth, man. In this world, man. So let's get another precept. Let's go to John, St. John, chapter 5, verse 28. So this is John 5, 28. Let's see what it says, man. and the rich man, man. That's what it's talked about. And it says, and shall come forth, they that have done good, they that have done good unto the resurrection of life. Right? Representing that eternal life. Alright? And they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation, man. Okay? So this is the understanding, man. The correct understanding, man. Okay? This is the correct understanding. This is the mysteries. Alright? This is this is this is what the Lord left uh, for us, man. So we can have the understanding, man, and the knowledge and the wisdom, man. Not for us to go uh, uh, twist the scriptures. Alright, twist the scriptures to fit our narrative. Right? The, the cause Jake to go off, man. Because that's what you're doing, man. With the false doctrines. That's what false doctrines do. It's poison, man. It's going to lead to your damnation, man. All right? We're commanded to be perfect, man. Okay? And there's no excuse why you can't be perfect teaching these scriptures if you stick to the instructions. All right? If you stick to the instructions, the Lord told us, go precept upon don't add, don't take away. It's, it's, it's really simple, man. You got to be a rebellious nigga, man. A rebellious nigga to reject the, 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 the instructions on how the Lord told you to deal with his word, man. With his word, man. This is his word, man. This is not yours, all right? This is not yours. The most high didn't reveal this to you. He revealed it to you. I was shy. Okay? So that's how we get the understanding through what's written, man. Not through you niggas' false doctrines, man. Okay? So I'm going to read that slow again, man. This is John 5, 28. It tells us, Yahweh Shah tells us, because it's written in the red, marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in which all, all Israelites that are in the grave shall hear his voice. Talk about the spirit world. And shall come forth, they that done good, they that done good, which are the wheat, all right, the righteous, unto resurrection of life, man. Okay? Eternal life, just like Daniel spoke of, man. Just like the book of Luke say, man. Just like I read in Matthews, man. All right? So it says, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation, man. Okay? That damnation, man, that's reserved for you wicked niggas, man. Okay? So, uh, let's see. That's the point, man. Straight to the point, man. Right? Straight to the point, man. If you, want, if you follow the instructions the way the Lord gave it to us, you'll get the understanding, man. But if you're a rebellious nigga that want to do your own thing, want to be exalted and praised, all right? Over your house shy. All right. Make make baseless statements like you push the word further than your house shy. Okay. You know more than the prophets and the apostles of old. Okay. Proud nigga, man. You a proud nigga. Okay. You in the spirit of Esau. Cause that's what Esau do, man. All right. Basically, he telling you he know more than the Lord, man. So accept his knowledge. Over what the Bible say. That's basically uh, uh, what Esau is saying without saying it, man. Okay? 
all his uh, bullshit wisdom and knowledge of this world, man. Okay? He's basically telling you that he's he got more knowledge than the Lord, man. He know better than the Lord, man. And that's what you niggas doing, man. That's why he say you up your father the devil, man. Right? Because you act just like Esau, man. Adding to the Lord's word, man. So, hey, man. If you don't get the point, these are straight to the point scriptures. This is plain, man. Okay? All of it is lining up. With every scripture I'm reading is lining up with the other scripture, man. Showing you, the, giving you the understanding. Lord, giving you the understanding. Remember it said it's not given. Let's get that one right quick. Let's go to Matthews. Uh, Matthews. 13 and 9. It says, who have ears to hear, let them hear. Of course, everybody got literal ears, man. Okay? Everybody got literal ears unless you deaf. And you still got ears, but you'll have ears to hear. But he talking about you spiritual deaf, motherfucker, man. And the disciples came and said unto him, why speaketh unto them in parables? Why are you speaking in parables, man? right parabolic speech okay that's why you people don't understand because the bible written their parabolic speech in a lot of uh, uh uh cases man okay and this is the reason it's written like that he answered and said unto them because it is given it is given freely freely you don't have to pay for it okay you ain't gotta go to esau seminary school all right you ain't gotta join no camp all right, it's given freely by the way of Yahweh Shah through the Holy Spirit. It says, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries. All right, and it's a mystery I'm bringing out, man, of the kingdom of heaven. But unto them, it is not given, man, to the uh, wicked Israelites, man. It's not given to them, man. Certainly not given to the nations, man, the Esau. Okay, this is talking to. This is talking to Israel, real Israelites about Israelites, man. Right? The Lord, the Lord, the Lord ain't uh, spent his time on the earth discussing, trying to uh, give the understanding of his mysteries and secrets to no goddamn heathens, man. All you wicked niggas. Because in the Lord's eyes, you niggas consider heathens, man. same condemnation man all right destruction <laughs> destruction man so it's given to the the righteous man to the chosen man all right so uh it says so that's the point on that i just wanted to bring that out now let's go to matthew 23 and, and 33 all right and reveal the mystery all right Reveal the mystery through the Holy Spirit, man. Not through this nigga teaching, man. <laughs> All right? So this is Matthew, the book of Matthew, chapter 23. Let's see, 23 and 33. So this is Matthew 23, 33. It says, ye serpents, ye serpents, talking to you, uh, those who sit in Moses' seat. Okay, you wicked Pharisees and scribes, man. All right, you guys that's living out, uh, 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 that came back in y'all lot, man. All right, fitting description to the T, man. Okay, that's you niggas, man. So he referred to you as serpents, man. Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, vipers. How how can ye escape damnation of hell, man? So you can't escape that, man. Right, and them niggas trying to draw y'all in today to, uh, uh, for what the Lord got reserved to them. They want company down there, man. I mean, you still lock you up there. All right? They want some company, man. That's why they try to convince you to go off, man. Okay? Because they want some company, man. So they the generation of vipers, man. Those who uh, refer to as the synagogue of Satan. 
right? The Lord got many titles to describe these guys, okay? But they the ones who going into uh, eternal damnation, man. All wicked Israelites. That's to show you that it's this referred to Israelites, all right? Israelite, many, the majority of Israelites going to be damned into hell, man. That torment, that everlasting contempt and shame, man. That's the proof, man. I'm not talking about no Esau, man. That's a distraction, man. That's all that is, man. They trying to distract you with lies, man. Okay? The majority of those guys' doctrines that they teach concerning prophecy is lies, man. All right? And the Bible correct they lies, man. That's why they reject the man who teach the truth according to what's written in the book, man. All right? You guys can't follow instructions, man. The Lord never justified us to, to add and take away. Really, he, he commanded us not to do that, man. And you niggas take it upon yourself being rebellious children, all right, to go out there and, 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 and add and do everything the Lord say don't do. You niggas do it, man, because y'all y'all lack the fear of the Lord, man. That's why you don't have the knowledge. It's that simple, man. Because if you fear the Lord, man, you will take the time out to make sure and examine yourself to make sure that you're doing the right thing according to the Lord ministries, man. That's simple, man. Your life, your life depends on it, man. You don't have a good life. Because remember, everybody going to die, man. Everybody going to die, man. All right? Everybody going to die, man. It tells you that the beggar and the rich man literally died, man. this and go with what he taught you you reject in the bible man you reject in the lord man all right so let's get another one so let's go back to them Let me show you what uh yahweh shah said what happened to yahweh shah well what yahweh shah commanded us to do according to you nigga it says verse 34 wherefore behold i see you I said, I, I said unto you, prophets, prophets, father the devil you bringing him into this picture man you painting Esau into the picture man the Lord ain't talking about no goddamn Edomites man he talking about Israelites man that's who persecuted the righteous man in their synagogues and persecute them from city uh, to city man that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed on the earth from the blood of righteous Abel to the blood of Zacharias and, 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 and uh, the, uh, the son, the blood of Zacharias, the son of Barakas, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. I'm talking to Israelites, man. That's who killed the prophets, man. So what Esau had in this picture, man? What's that evil? What's that eternal hell, man? That day you spoke about, man. That shame and contempt, man. All right? The book of Luke, man, when he lift up his eyes in torment, man. Okay? He lifted up his eyes in torment, man. That's the place Ezra was referring to in uh, chapter 9, man. In verse 12. Let's read that one again. Second Ezra chapter 9. And, um... Uh, 
verse 12 say, the same must know it after, after, after death. By pain, by pain, man. Shame and contempt, torment, man. All right? Which in this world is referred to as hell, man. All right? It's hell, man. So a place of torment do exist according to what the Bible say. All right? Despite what, 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 what these niggas teach it. Right? So be conscious, man, of your time on this earth, man. Because it's only but for a short moment, man. All right? It's only for a short moment, man. That's what you're not being taught in this world, man. You have a judgment to pay. All right? You have a judgment to pay, man. All right? And it all boils down to do you believe in what the scriptures say according to the most high? Do you walk ye in it or do you not, man? It's that simple, man. It's that simple, man. All right? Esau bring all that confusion into the world, man. And make you thinking of, uh, that life is about this and that and all these different uh, decisions you got to make. Oh, the main decision, the most important decision you got to make in this life, all right, is to follow the most high or not, man. That's going to determine your eternal, man. All right? That's going. That's what's going to determine uh, your eternal uh, life, man. Is you going to go into eternal life or eternal damnation, torment, man? Into paradise, peace, and rest, or hell, man. All right, or hell, man. And that's the facts, man. Okay, that's according to what the Bible say. Now I'm gonna get another precept, man. And I'm gonna read this precept. Uh, well, let's go to that Luke 23 first. All right, let's go to Luke 23, and we're gonna start at verse 39. So this is Luke 23. Luke 23 and uh, verse 39. Rain got the edification, man. It says, and one of the male factors, all right, we all know the story of when the Lord was crucified, all right, he had two male factors, one on his left, one on his right. So I'm about to give you another example of what I've been reading in this video, man. So it says, and one of the male factors which were hanged, railed on him, railed on him, Let's look up the word rail. It says to speak reproachly, to revile, to blaspheme. See, that's what you niggas doing, man. So you represent this male factor that I'm reading about who railed on Yahweh Shah, man. To be evil, spoken of, reviled, to rail at, man. All right? To defame. That's what you're doing, man, when you lie on the Lord. You defaming the Lord, man. So... You guys represent uh, this male factor that railed against the Lord. So it says, and one of the male factors which which were hanged railed on him, saying, If thou be Yahweh Shai, save thyself and us. But the other answer, answering, rebuked him, saying, Do if not thou fear, do if not thou fear the power, seeing that thou art in the same condemnation, and we indeed and we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man have done nothing amiss. And Yahweh Shah said, uh, and Yahweh Shah, and he said unto Yahweh Shah, Lord, remember me when thou cometh into thy kingdom, into thy kingdom. And Yahweh Shah said unto him, verily, meaning truly, I say unto thee, today thou shalt be with me in paradise. In paradise. All right? And it reads on to go into the story of the Lord uh, being crucified. All right? No discussion of the one who railed at the Lord being in paradise, man. So where did he go? Where, where did the other male factor that, that railed against the Lord, where did he go? Did he go to the same place? Uh, the uh, the male factor who went to paradise? No. All right? Through the scriptures that are already read, you should know where he went, man. All right? He went into torments, man, just like the rich man. Okay? He went into torments just like the rich man. So that's the understanding, man. All 
all right without all the private interpretations man all right that's the understanding all right something you guys lack man you lack the understanding man you reject the understanding because you're too proud man you're too proud man you're in the spirit of your elders man you can't be told nothing man all right and while you rejecting the facts of what's written in the bible all right rejecting the new contract persecuting the righteous men of the lord because they're not teaching uh, uh your elder doctrine all right so you represent this male factor that you railing against the lord man all right you're not considered the wise you're not gonna shine like the like the firmament man the stars in the firmament man you're going into eternal darkness man all right after death by pain remember that man by pain so that's just another example uh now let's read let's read revelation 16 16 and pick up at 9 revelation 16 let's see revelation 16 and verse 9 and it says uh Salaki, Salaki. 6 and 9 Salaki. so revelation 6 and 9 and it says when he and when he opened the fifth seal he saw under the altar the souls the souls so this is dealing with the spirit world now souls he saw the souls of them that were slain that were literally killed in this world they were slain for the word of the power and for the testimony which they held okay and the testimony which they held speaking the truth basically man and they cried with a loud voice with a loud voice saying how long O lord O lord holy and true do if thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth man okay now this is the point verse 11 it says and white robes was given unto every one of them and it was said unto them that they should rest in the spirit world all right these are the righteous men of the Lord, man. So you mean to tell me that everybody go to rest and get these right robes and go into paradise with these righteous chosen men of the Lord? Because according to you niggas, doctor, everybody go to the same place, man. Everybody go to paradise. All right? Even the, 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 blas the blasphemous so-called comforter, Jermaine Grant, the... the the uh, Tazadakia, one Western man, even he's in paradise according to Tahar. So I guess he got on white robes and he getting rest and he's in paradise. So it says, it says that they should rest yet a little season into their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled, man. Okay? So here's another example. Revelation, all right, of the righteous going to this paradise, uh, that everlasting life, that 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 uh, that rest, man. Okay, only for the righteous, man. It's only for the righteous. So all you wicked janks out here, all you unbelievers, y'all going into everlasting torment. The Lord is going to destroy your soul, man. Your literal soul.
race of, of the tribe of unbeliever niggas, man. That's what y'all are, man. It says them that had the word that was killed for the word and the testimony of the Lord, man. That's not talking to everybody, man. Where did the other male factor go, man? Did he go into paradise? Do the Bible say he went into paradise? Show me where it says that right uh, wicked men going to rest, going to paradise, man. So that's the point on that one. Let's get another one. Let's go to Revelation 14, 13. Stay in the book of Revelation, chapter 14, and uh, verse 13. Let's read it. It says, And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right blessed are the dead. See, we're talking about death here, man. Okay? We're talking about death, man. Literal death, man. Said, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. Blessed are the dead that die in the Lord. Why? Because they go to paradise, man. They go into rest, man. That's why they the blessed. So it says that die in the Lord from hence, from hence for, yea, saith the spirit that they rest from their labors and their works do follow them. So you mean to tell me the wicked works don't follow them? Come on, man. You guys bugging, man. You guys bugging, man. And all you grown-ass men following this wicked nigga, okay? Blindly, you're going to be destroyed right with him. Right? All these wicked peons in this world, wicked, unbelieving jakes, into all these different ways of living, all right, that adopted this African-American culture, all right, this hip-hop culture. You niggas going into eternal damnation. Despite what your grandma told you, despite what you learned on the internet, okay? Your ass going to, your spirit going to go into eternal damnation, man. Just like the rich man. Just like the rich man, man. You better fucking repent, man. All right? And follow the lamb whatsoever he go. Yahweh Shai, man. That's the name, man. Right? That's what we require to do in our small time on this earth, man. Follow your how a shot, man. Right? Not chase Esau uh, uh, American dream, man. That's that's not our job, man. Right? We got you niggas distracted, man, with all the lights, the glitz, and the fame, man. Trying to be celebrities, be rich, man. Because according to this world, according to your father, the devil, that's, that's that means you bless. The Bible just say, blessed is he that died in the Lord, man. Why? Because he's going to paradise, just like the male fact. Okay? He's going to rest, man. He's going to receive those white robes, man. It says he's going to rest from his labors, man. Okay? He wanted to, what? what's, what's referred to as Abraham's bosom, man. That's what it's called, man. Abraham's bosom. Okay? So that's the point on that. So now let's get this Job, right? Because this is the scripture that these niggas use to push their confusion, man, about everybody going to the same place, man. All right? I'm going to read it to you slow and show you that you niggas don't know what the fuck you talking about, man. So this is Job chapter 3. Let's get it, man. Job chapter 3. Job chapter 3. And uh, verse 17, man. And remember, we talking about literal death here, man. Okay? We talking about literal death, man. All right? This is not an allegory, man. This is this is, this is literal right here, man. So, so, so let's start at verse 11. This is Job 3, 11. Why died? I not from the womb. See, we talking about literal death here, man. Okay? 
Why did I not give up the ghost when I came out of the belly? Give up the ghost. Give up the spirit, man. All right? It said, why did the knees prevent me or why the beast that I should suck? For now should I have lain still and been quiet. I should have slept, slept. Then I had been at rest. See? So we talk about literal death. All right? That rest. We know that rest. Uh, what I just described and read in Revelations, man. So it says, with kings, with kings and counselors of the earth, which build desolate places for themselves. All right. So it have been righteous kings in history, man. It have been righteous counselors, man. All right. Well, you got King David, man. All right. He was a righteous king, man, according to the scriptures. All right. So these dumb niggas say just because... The prophet Joel, who considered a righteous man, said he's going to rest with kings, that all kings of the earth had to be wicked. So, therefore, uh, 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 he, he chilling with the wicked. Like, man, kings and counselors, you have righteous kings and counselors that have lived upon the earth, man. King David is the example, man. Okay, read on. Or with princes that had gold who filled their houses with silver. It have been righteous princes that existed in earth, man. Okay. It says, or or as an untimely birth that uh, untimely birth I had not been, as infants which never saw light. There in the spirit world, the wicked cease from troubling. Why? It tells you that in the book of Luke, man. All right, because the righteous going into paradise, man. They're going into Abraham bosom. All right, the wicked cease from trouble. And why? Because there's a clear separation, man. That's why, man. It says, and there the weary be at rest. The weary representing the righteous. They the ones at rest, not the wicked, man. There the prisoners rest together. The prisoners rest together. They hear not the voice of the oppressor. See, it's showing you both sides. The prisoners representing the righteous. The right, the oppressors representing the uh the wicked. All right, and they tell you, they can't hear the voice of the oppressor. Why? Because there's a separation. The small and great are there, and the servants is free from their masters. Okay, the masters representing the wicked. The servants representing the righteous, all right? And they're free from their masters. Why? Because there's a separation, man, between the rich, the wicked and the righteous. The Lord tell you that in the story of the wheat and the tares, all right? The wheat represent the righteous Israelites. The tares represent the wicked Israelites. The Lord said he's going to separate the, uh, the two, man. One going into eternal damnation, eternal fire, man, eternal torment, man. The other going into paradise man that's the correct understanding man of the mystery of what happens after death man okay so that's the point man okay that's the correct understanding man so now let's close up I'm gonna just read this uh, Daniel again and show you what Daniel was referring to so this Daniel 12 Prophet Daniel, chapter 12 and verse 1, it says, well, I'm going to start at verse 2. It says, and many of them that sleep in the dust, that's literally dead, in the dust of the earth, shall awake some to everlasting life. Remember the rich man and Lazarus lifted up their eyes, meaning to awake, all right? Some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt and contempt. Okay? So that's the separation, man, between the wicked and the righteous. The white and the tears. It ain't got shit to do with Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. That's a distraction. Okay? And they that be wise, that got the wisdom, the understanding of the scriptures, who the Lord dealing with, shall shine as the brightness of the firmament and they and they that turn many to righteous they that turn people to the lord man 
do what's written in the book. Not they that join IUIC. Not they who join GMS. They that turn many to Yahweh Shai, okay, as the stars, uh, uh, as the stars forever and ever. And ever.